A male teacher from the Bexar Primary School is under investigation for allegedly sending sexually suggestive text messages to his female students. The investigation is being handled by the Teaching Service Commission. Ministry of Education protocol dictates that any allegations against teachers are sent first to the ministry, who may refer it to the commission or the police based on their initial findings. The General Secretary of the Teachers' Union, Wayne Cumberbatch, says it is a very effective system for ensuring justice. Not all of the cases that, that would be feasible to refer to the police. If, for example, it's a case where there isn't a criminal act, because the law would speak about uh, intercourse and so on, penetration and so on. So what if it's just in, in, inappropriate behavior? Okay, you would probably, if you just refer it to the police right away, you may not have a criminal case uh, and that case will be thrown out and that person may end up coming back into the system. Rather than if you send it through the process of investigation through the Decision Service Commission, then the, 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 the Decision Service Commission then has the authority to, to discipline the teaching profession is negatively impacted by every allegation made against teachers. And although Cumberbatch admits this, he says there is no need for a formal screening process for their profession. He says what currently obtains, particularly the interview by principals, is adequate, although it too can be strengthened. That interview would involve a, a certain amount of background check and, uh, and so on. And, but I don't think it is a, a formal kind of background check is basically the principal will probably find out who the person is and, 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 and. many times uh, when a teacher applies most times the teacher is from the particular district and the principal would probably know a little about the person would have seen the, the person at, at school and so on and, 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 and therefore would know a little about the person so I, I, I really don't believe that we have gotten to the point now where we have to actually formalize uh, our vetting process and so on. In this particular case, the teacher is not a member of the Bexar community where he teaches. He is said to be from Babuno. He may not even be a member of the teachers' union. Cumberbatch says the union has no comment on the ongoing case because they have had no contact with the teacher in question. I don't know whether he's a member. I don't know his name. I don't know what he hasn't been to us. Nobody has been to us with regards to, to this case, so we really cannot comment on it. We haven't got anything official on the story, so we really don't, we don't have any comment so far on the story per se. Wayne Cumberbatch says there is a code of ethics within the constitution of the St. Lucia Teachers Union that all members have to abide by. That code clearly defines teachers as role models with responsibilities towards their students, school and community. He says that code of ethics clearly demonstrates the union's stance on teachers who abuse or may seek to abuse their students. It is one of zero tolerance. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.